In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use tape to test your JavaScript code. I found tip, tape very straightforward, and I want to show you uh, why it's so simple to use. Okay, so I already have a folder on my desktop called testing with tape, and I made a, the main.js file, and I'm just going to open that file. Okay, so first you need to require tape. Uh, so you can say test is require tape, and then you can just import the test uh, method, right? But we don't have tape, so let's just install that. npm i tape, and then we're just going to save it as a dev dependency. So once you do that, then you can require it in your file. Okay, so we got a test as a variable, so we call the method test, right? And then the first uh, argument is uh, what you're testing. So let's say uh, we have an add method, and we want to assert that it does uh, add two numbers correctly. So we can say we're testing add, and uh, it should add uh, two numbers uh, correctly. Then the second parameter is a function. And the uh, argument you pass in is uh, what you can use to write your assertions. So in the body here, you can say um, t dot equal, and then the first argument is the actual value, and the second value is what you expect. So I can create those variables. So actual would be the result of calling the function, so the actual evaluation. So add, let's say, come one, come on two, and we expect that to be three. So after this, you have to end and tell it where your uh, test ends. So you do that by t dot end. So after doing that, you can just run this with node. There's not, there's no decoration or dance around it. You can just say node and then just run your script and it will tell you if it failed or not so in this case uh, it failed because obviously we do not have the add method so let's go and define that so in here let's say add is result of requiring a method called add and i'm just going to create that file at the js and in here we're just going to export export one function and this function is going to take two parameters and it's just going to add them up so return a plus b nothing really fancy obviously in your application this would be more complicated so we got this um, function that we've assigned to module that exports and this is the value that is going to be this function is going to be assigned to add so if i run this again it will pass it's that simple now if you want you can pass this a third parameter and this could be your should statement. So, uh, so add two numbers correctly. You can just rename this to, you can phrase this better. So you can say the add method. You can then say should add two numbers uh, correctly. So when you run that, it will read as uh, the add method should add two numbers correctly. Uh, so that's it. Um, that's how you can unit test your uh, functions. In the next video, I'll show you how you can get a, a nicer output. Uh, it's very simple. You can just use the standard output uh, to pass it through different, um, different commands. See you there.